Well, Disney Channel's hit animated comedy series Big City Greens is back for season two with twice the laughs and wacky adventures. The show follows a hilarious green family after they move from the country to the big city. Take a look. Cricket, those coupons are not a real gift. While I'm normally not inclined to toot my own horn, <laughs> I am an expert on giving great gifts. A real gift shows someone how much they mean to you. That's why every chili gift takes time and effort. And it's also why Papa always loves them. And Canadian actress, writer, and producer Marie-Ave Harrington, who voices Tilly on the show, joins us now. You are currently actually in quarantine right now, having recently returned to Canada from the U.S. Is I it good am. to be back? Is it, it feel, is. Does it feel good? I have to tell you, even though I haven't been able to leave the house yet, um, it is really nice to be back. And even just hearing uh, neighbors' conversations from uh, over the fence at my girlfriend's place where I'm currently quarantining has just been delightful. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been uh, busy during quarantine, haven't you? Not only recording season two from home, but you've also been making a few dreams come true, I understand, sending these birthday greetings to your youngest fans in the voice of Tilly. What have those reactions well, been like? Trying to as much as I, as much as I can. Um, but yeah, the show has been just kept on rolling you know we're recording remotely from our home studios the crew is working on their home rigs it's really kind of something to behold how um it production hasn't stopped you know where so much of hollywood has had to thankfully animation hasn't had to so yeah very, that's very, great very yeah, no, I, I hear you. I hear we've talked to a few actors who have said the same thing. Now, you are not only returning as a voice, but in this new season, you will also get to debut an episode that you co-wrote. Want to ask you about that experience. And did you throw your character a few more lines? You know, it's funny. I think that has been um, at least... Uh, when the showrunner so kindly said we could talk about it in advance, I think some people on Twitter were like, oh my gosh, I bet you wrote a, a huge Tilly episode. And that just was not um, the case. Uh, it was an unbelievable experience and opportunity uh, that Disney Channel and the, the writing staff uh, and executive team afforded us. I co-wrote it with my husband and writing partner. And of course, the way that... Um, uh, Big City Greens works. It's a board driven show. So the writers will write um, an outline and then the storyboard artists are the ones who write the actual lines of dialogue. So, um, so yeah, we were able to structure the story and it's actually not a very Tilly heavy episode. She's got a very fun runner because of course, what's Tilly great for, but a great runner. But, um, but no, I think, uh, I think people will be surprised to see that it is not a super Tilly centric episode. <laughs> A humble Canadian to the very end. Uh, yeah, that's terrific. And of course, you've been nominated for a daytime Emmy now two years in a row, though I suspect the last ceremony must have felt a little strange at home. What was that like? Uh, well, you know, I actually went over to uh, one of my showrunners' house. We all had our three laptops set up about 10 feet apart on his patio. We were dressed up, but only from the waist up. Uh, because that's all you need to do these days. Um, and uh, we, we watched the, the ceremonies and we were ready to toast if it went our way. And you know what? We toasted just for getting to the nominee phase. Um, and it was pretty cool, honestly, to, to be able to do it um, from home. Who would have ever thought a year ago that we'd be doing this? Oh, I know. I know. I mean, like if you could see right now, waist down, I'm in jeans and flip flops. It, there's something relaxing to that, you know, that you're it's that whole, you know, the, the party party waist down. Um, speaking of parties, um, your fans, people, audiences are loving the show. And it is a show about a family moving from the country to the big city. We can't help but wonder, were you able to draw a little from your own move from Oakville, Ontario to LA, California for this character? You know, I will say let the the storyline is actually really speaks to the creator's experience, but you're right, it is actually quite similar to how I felt very disoriented and out of place in LA for a long time. Um but no, I actually the the voice of Tilly, I have to say that 
Um, it really came out of nowhere. I'd love to be able to give you a story that, oh, I've been working on this voice and I pulled from this inspiration, this, that. No, I have to tell you, I locked eyes with that cartoon drawing and this voice came out of my body that I was like, who's that? Where is that? Huh? Um, with of course like a Southern drawl. So, um, it, I really got a kick out of it in the early days when people would say, where in the U S are you from? And I'd say, well, from Canada. <laughs> so, <laughs> Of course, of course. Well, you can watch Big City Greens on Disney Channel Canada Sundays at 8 p.m. Mary Ev, so great connecting. Thank you. So nice to speak with you.